Boxing Voice. Now, uh, over this past weekend, we seen Adrian Broner there. Uh, they gave you a screenshot. You said his teeth matched the shirt. Is there still a little, uh, I don't know, are you still unruffled by uh, Broner? No, 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 it's all good. I, was, I literally just thought his teeth matched the shirt, and I didn't even mean it in a bad way. You know, he had gold and white on his teeth, and he had uh, gold and white on his shirt. So, uh, you know, I was just making a funny comment, but me and Adrian are cool. Now, you still haven't made it clear if you're going to retire or not. Is that something that uh, will bring you out of this, you know, kind of lackadaisical stage that you're at with your career? Would you come back if it was uh, Adrian Broner rematch? Something that you felt you won the first time around? Uh, I don't know uh, for sure what would bring me back. Um, something that would have to definitely pique my interest, and uh, we'll see. I can't say it's one particular thing that I'm looking for. Um, I sometimes do feel like I want to fight and uh, not stop. You know, I get bored at home. Uh, you know, during the World Cup, at least I had a lot of stuff to do. I could watch the games every day. But since the World Cup ended, I've been kind of getting antsy a little bit. And uh, you know, you can only keep yourself busy doing so much. So yeah, a piece of me does want to fight. And then some days I think about training, and I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to train like that again. But we'll see. I, I, I can't say I've made up my mind. I'd be lying to you. Well, speaking on Broner, you're probably going to be commentating on his fight September 6th. What sort of a shot do you give Emmanuel Teller? I mean, he's a hard-nosed kid. He has wins over Victor Cayo. You know, he, he was in there with Algeri. He didn't get the win, but he got a win over a very awkward big puncher, exactly, in Kareem Mayfield. Is this a true test for Broner, or is just this another Carlos Molina step? Sometimes fights are about matchups. Um, it's not about big names, and uh, I think Broner and Emmanuel Taylor is about a solid matchup. I think it's an evenly matched fight. I think Emmanuel Taylor is, can match skills with Adrian Broner to a degree. Um, I think what bothers Broner is the same thing that bothers Taylor, and that's a busy style. Well, we saw that in Algeria fight with Emmanuel Taylor. Chris Algeria was just too busy for him. But neither guy has the busiest hands, but at the same time, both guys can explode with some speed. Um, I, I look forward to a chess match. I think it's going to be a good boxing match, and I, I think it's a pretty good fight on paper. Now, Emmanuel Teller brought the fight to Kareem Mayfield, ultimately outworked him, dig to the body a lot. You were in there with Broner. He's not that active of a puncher. You were a lot more active. You had a more output. Um, is that, could that be the ultimate downfall for him in this fight? Yeah, you know, uh, anytime you're not very active, you're always risking a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see, I expect a pretty good fight though. Now, again, in this fight, we had the same thing, just like, Garcia, South, uh, Garcia Peterson on the same card. We have Lucas Broner on the same card. Why aren't these guys fighting each other? Maybe eventually. Maybe it's all a buildup. We'll see. You truly believe that? I don't know. You know, sometimes we've seen these fights happen uh, after being built up, and sometimes we haven't. So we'll see. I mean, how many times do we see Danny and Matisse? Danny and Matisse, we called the first, and eventually it happens. So we'll see. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Now, I know you're pressed for time. You were on your way out, but I can't let you leave without talking to Porter about Porter. Porter Brook, big fight coming up this Saturday, but also I'm hearing there's some rumblings between you and the Porter camp. Yeah, yeah, but they're, they're good fighters. Well, uh, I expect a good fight this weekend. <laughs> All right, thank you, Paulie. <laughs> thank you. The Boxing Voice.